Welcome to the Kaiserstadt, the imperial city of Bad Ischl, a classical city for a look at the last pieces that I have from the Valence collection, which are fittingly classical themselves, the blazers. This kind of combination might not be the most classical. I would normally want to use a real shirt, but the Valence shirts in the same M as the blazer have sleeves which are way too long for the blazer, so I do not really love to combine this, these things. I'll give you a quick look at this too. I do rather prefer the blazers though. The valence blazers are very typical valence pieces. Very clean lines, even with the pockets, you can recognize that they are two vertical pockets on the side. Good if you need to warm your hands, but also good as they disappear if you're not doing anything with them. Not the more usual visible horizontal pockets. There are also one has bought pocket, also fitting a smartphone very well on the left, and a larger pocket which is big enough for an airplane ticket on the right. Strange that airplane tickets are still considered the symbolic item, but anyways, that's how it is. This here is the Hedden blazer, the first piece which is not using some only technical polyester material or windstopper. The Indissa blazer, for example, is a windstopper material. The Hedden blazer uses a face which is a blend of wool, cotton and nylon with a nylon lining. Of course, it has the usual seam taping which is so typical for Valens. This face gives it a very worsted wool-like classical look. It's quite a hard face, but it is very comfortable, especially given the lining. One of the typical things and the peculiar things of Valens blazers is that you can put up the collar for some added protection. In the case of the blazers, which are for the fall and winter season, you can even lock the collar a bit, like this. And there's also another small pocket hidden behind the collar. And it is rather collar up in a rather strange way. I've only ever before seen that in James Bond. But anyways, it's a very useful thing, it's a good design. It is one of those typical things of giving a bit more um, protection than you normally get from any piece like a blazer by itself, but it makes it more of a jacket. Wear well, a tank top, a shirt and the blazer like this, it's enough for slightly above freezing. It gets cool, but it works. In warmer temperatures, it's definitely good. And then, of course, when we get to warmer temperatures, we also get to another piece. 